So the cornea is the clear window at the front of the eye, and it's really important for focusing vision to the back of the eye. Now in some patients, either the cornea loses shape progressively or suddenly if there's been some trauma to the eye, or the cornea loses clarity because the delicate cells that line the inside of the cornea start to degrade in terms of number and quality. When we consider performing a corneal transplant, it's usually after having tried other measures such as glasses or contact lenses to try and restore vision. But when it does become necessary, we then counsel the patient regarding taking donor cornea and transplanting that into the eye of the patient. The risks of that with modern techniques are relatively low, but for some patients there is still a risk to vision as a result of complications such as rejection of the transplant. Modern techniques try to restore only the layers of the cornea that need to be um, transplanted in order to restore vision. And these modern techniques are even more effective and safe than those that have gone before. Ultimately, patients may still require glasses and contact lenses to see, and a few patients will still require long-term management of their corneal transplant and drops to ensure that the transplant stays healthy. Mm -hmm.